okay, okay, okay. <laughs> How about this? How much would it take for you to do the deed of darkness with Gary Shandling? <laughs> 10 million. 20 if he wants to talk. <laughs> <laughs> How about with Sonia's husband? <laughs> Dozens of times, but I've never actually been in. <laughs> oh, hi, Miss Bundy. <laughs> hey, Miss Bundy, what's going on? <laughs> How you doing, Big Red? <laughs> okay, so I've been here once. Usual table, Mrs. Bundy? <laughs> but I tipped well. <laughs> now, don't whine. There is a 10% finder's fee, and then we split. 20 20, 60. <laughs> now, let's go. What's wrong with Al? I was out in the street picking up my newspaper when he pulled out. He didn't aim his car at me and gun it. <laughs> oh, boy! He must have a fortune. Come on, help me search. Al's got money. So what? So it's mine, and he's not giving it to me. Well, that's kind of cruel, not sharing with your wife. Oh, who's talking about sharing? I want it all. <laughs> not because I'm greedy, you understand. Ooh, two bits. <laughs> you see, it's good for our marriage. If Al has money, then he doesn't come home. Will he take a check? Because I know the rest of the block will kick in. <laughs> Yes, I, I know it sounds good on the surface, but the problem is, he doesn't just go away. He goes away and has fun. You see, Marcy, my mother taught me two things. Never feed a man when you can feed yourself twice. And if you're gonna rot on a couch in hell, the least your husband can do is to burn right beside you. Oh, over here, dear. Just put them anywhere. Hi, Al. Honey, you would have been so proud of me. I spent every penny you have, but not a cent more. <laughs> now I need a little tip for Alejandro. Sure. Don't touch my wife. <laughs> Kmart, tomorrow, tennis. Hey, I understand your great need to shop. After all, you have to do something to break up that nothing you do at home. But you know, as I was vacuuming my shirt this morning, I said to myself, hey, I got a wife. I have to. Why else would I not care about my health? What's your point, Al? I don't have any clean shirts, Peg. Do what I do. Buy a new one. Well, I would have, but I didn't want to wake you prying my wallet out of your claws. <laughs> Let's try this. Pretend the mall closes at 3. Go home and clean my clothes. What am I being punished for? <laughs> OK, Al. I'll do the wash. But first, give me some more money. I need quarters for the machine. Hey, you're not going to get me with that one twice. We own that machine. <laughs> I don't want to do the wash, Al. There's nothing to buy there. I know, let's compromise. Give me some money, and on your way home, you can pick up Chinese food, and we'll have a nice dinner. <laughs> Nick, I'm serious. Look at this shirt. It doesn't show up in a mirror. <laughs> now go home, do the wash. Until then, you're cut off. Understand? No money. Yes, Al. Now, if you'll excuse me, the sun is setting and my shirt wants to party. <laughs> I have to put these shoes away. Al. No more money! <laughs> Achoo! Bless you! Thank you, dear. <coughs> Better take something for that cough, Peg. Oh, I already did. <laughs> what you want? Baby, I got what you need. Do you know I got it?
This is so sad. Look at her. Every year it's the same thing. Yep. The birthday hop. <laughs> She'd learn. I mean, every year she turns on the oldie station, cranks it up real loud, and dances the dances of our forefathers. <laughs> oh, and then she realizes how old she is and gets depressed. Watch. Well, remember that one? If you do, you must be a hundred, because it was over 20 years ago. That was one for you, Grandma. Uh, next. Dr. Shandy and Pure Mail. Our first letter is from Desperate, a.k.a. Peggy Hundy. She writes, Lately, my husband, we'll call him Sal, shows no interest in sex, at least not with me. Well, my dear, perhaps a change of venue would spice up your sex life. Have you tried doing it in the living room? <laughs> or the kitchen? <laughs> and there's always the bathroom. <laughs> Try it, Mrs. Pundy. You'll like it. I did. Well, Peg, I'm showered and ready to go to work and edge ever closer to the grave. <laughs> Wish me luck. Al, take me. I want to have sex on the kitchen table. <laughs> I want to have a meal on the kitchen table. <laughs> Learn to live without. I did. Goodbye. Al, I'm serious. I want sex. Peg, how long have we been married? 40, 50 years. <laughs> Do we not have two children? Well, yeah. Then my job is done. <laughs> and coming up tomorrow on Oprah, Sugar Coma. Is it killing productivity in the home? Ah, <laughs> uh, Peg, are y'all worn down from cooking and scrubbing and cleaning? <laughs> <laughs> Making this house the palace that it is? You know, you're amazing. I just can't get over you. How do you do it? <laughs> Honey, you always wanted to go to Europe. What do you say I put you in a box and ship you overseas? <laughs> Come on, my little death certificate. What do you say? Oh, Mom. I had the most horrible dream. I was married to a shoe salesman, and we lived... <laughs> what? It's true! Oh, uh, hi, honey. I was just dreaming about you. Let's begin with some in-place runs. You know, to burn off the tension. You know, you got a lot of nerve. Did I come over to your house when you won the Woman in Banking Award? Yes, you did. And you stole a whole chicken. <laughs> Yeah, but at least I didn't wiggle my butt in front of it when I did it. Follow me, ladies. You know, Marcy, you're right. There is plenty of gym to go around, and let's not forget we're friends. Agree? Agree? <laughs> Three and four and rest. <sighs> what happened to Marcy? Oh, she lost interest. Let me in, you swine! <laughs> Hey, Jim, I'm beat. I'm just gonna sit over here while you flex me off to sleep. That's not quite how it works, Mrs. Bundy. Uh, just how does it work, Jim? And one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, well, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67. <laughs> and 
and 197 and 198 and 199 and 200. Okay. I think it warmed up. Let's get started. Bonbon. No bonbons. <laughs> Let's clear up a few misconceptions. There are two things Peggy Bundy doesn't do. Number one, cook, clean, sew, vacuum, iron, and parent. And number two, exercise. Well, Jim Jupiter loves a challenge. Bon Bon. I'm here to change your whole life, Peggy Bundy. Bon Bon. <laughs> Mrs. Bundy, you're a strong woman, but I'm the healthiest man in Chicago. I can see this week is gonna be a test of wills. Bon Bon. I like strawberry the best, don't you? Actually, the mocha Shh. or my... Oprah's on. Oh. <laughs> okay, Al. Okay, honey. This one's for you. I know it is, Peg. Okay. I know. 